What is up, it's Fab, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the coloured bar effect that was in my edit, because a lot of people want to know how to do this. Um, a lot of people are asking, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, I'm just going to get the clip really quick that I used in my edit and just drag it on. And I'm just going to get rid of the audio and maintain aspect ratio. It doesn't really matter in this, I'm just going to be showing you how to do the bars. But So first off, I'm just going to find where the beats are. Um, in this song it has perfect beats for it, but you can do it in whatever you want. It's just this has nice fast beats, so find it. So they're around about here, so I'm just going to drag this around here and now what we're going to do is because on some songs you see it down here you can clearly see where the beat is by there but you can't see where the other beats are on this so we're just going to have to like sort of guess so you just I'm just going to guess quickly so it's around about here I'm just going to hit M and put beat and now that just puts a marker so you know where the first beat is so it makes it easier so now, what you want to do is go to Media Generators and first off insert a new video track by just right clicking and I'm going to add on red. You want to drag this up to where your marker is on your first beat and all you want to do is just drag the opacity down to where you think it looks good so I'm going to go right there. And, um, the first time I did this, I used pan and crop, and I did this, I just unticked maintain aspect ratio, and dragged it out like that, like that and in, so it works like that, but then, uh, that worked perfectly in my foot the first time I did it, but for some reason, it, I don't know how it works, but it's not working now, so I'm just going to do it the way that everyone guessed it was done which is masking which is the way you can do it easily it's probably more easier than my way but that that did work the first time that's how I did it but it's not working now so I guess it's not that good so yeah we're just gonna mask it so just go to pan and crop hit mask and you want to go see you can see here look they have the dots above it you might not be able to see it on video but you can on pan and crop they have like the dots on so you just want to, to make it straight, just follow the dots, go to that dot, go down here and put your cursor on this dot, and then you see that's a straight line, and just then you just want to match them up, and you'll see it's created, created this on here. So we've got that now, and you'll see on the beat it comes in. <laughs> in and now you want to find the second beat so I'm just going to do that quickly so it's pretty quick after so I'm just going to guess around here and then you want to add a new video track and what we're going to do now is just drag this down the red down to around about here and just drag the fade off to about here and now what we can do to make it process quicker is just copy and just hit paste and to change the cut to change the position you just go to pan and crop and make sure on these two diamonds you clicked on the top one on the top layer here and then just using this make sure it's on moving X only and just drag it across to about there and to change the color just click on here generated media Go to the colour and we're just going to do it blue, so like that. And now, just you just got to keep checking that it's on the right beat. Yeah, that's fine for now. So yeah, right. So this is all good. So once you got your second one, these are timed from beat to beat. So you can just go to the end of this second one and insert a new video track get an, oh yeah, paste again hit paste, ok add it above and do the same process, event pan crop
and we're just going to repeat the process, just go across to round about the middle and change the colour again by just going to generate media and we'll do this one orange yeah we'll do it orange so now for the last one paste again and new video track and just do the same for the last one go to the top and drag it across to the end like that and change the colour so we'll do this one green we'll do this one that's a horrible colour green so yeah right that's alright so now I'll preview this for you and this is what it looks like and actually what I just noticed is so you can just just to make it nicer just drag it drag them longer so they go on for longer I forgot to say that actually sorry so you just drag them out and they last longer like this and you can just yeah you just play around with them just reposition them to what you want and it is a really cool effect and yeah, I got permission from Noah to do this tutorial just because it is his effect. He did it in his edit, which mine was based off. But yeah, I haven't seen this done in Vegas. It's really easy to do. And yeah, the first way I did it was in pan and crop, and that, that works. But this is more reliable just to mask it, and it's probably easier. So yeah, sorry for saying, no, that's not how you do it, because it is how you do it now. But that's not how I did it in the first place. And yeah, that's really easy. I'll show you. Color correction looks way better. If you add a color correction, it does make it look really sick, like a magic bullet looks. But yeah, I have some really awesome tutorials lined up. So yeah, please give this video a like and comment. If it gets 50 likes by tomorrow, then I'll upload the next one tomorrow, which is an awesome scan effect, and that is really good. So yeah, please stay active, please like and comment on the videos, and thank you for watching, and I hope it helped. See you later.